So the question asks, if you were to put some cotton wool soaked with concentrated hydrochloric acid and some cotton wool soaked with ammonia into a tube, firstly, what would you see? Question two, write an equation for the product that is formed. And part three, how can you explain why the product is formed closer to one end than the other? So we're going to do the experiment now, record our observation and think about the questions. Into the right hand side of the tube, we put some cotton wool that's soaked with concentrated hydrochloric acid. And into the left hand side of the tube, we put some cotton wool that's soaked with concentrated ammonia. As you can see, we get a ring of white ammonium chloride formed. The hydrochloric acid and the ammonia diffuse along the tube and where they meet, we get the NH4Cl, the ammonium chloride. Because ammonium is lighter than hydrogen chloride, the ammonia gas diffuses quicker and further along the tube which is why the ring is further away from the end with the ammonia in, but is closer to the end with the HCl on. Now we've done the practical, we're in a position to answer the questions. So the question says, what would you see? Well, we found that a white ring appears closer to the hydrochloric acid end. We know that the product we get is ammonium chloride. So we could write a word equation which would be ammonia and hydrogen chloride goes to ammonium chloride. Or the symbol equation would be NH3, which is ammonia, plus HCl, which is hydrogen chloride, goes to NH4Cl, which is ammonium chloride. And part three says, how can you explain why the product is formed closer to one end than the other end? So because ammonia is lighter than hydrogen chloride, the ammonia diffuses faster than the hydrogen chloride.